Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez Pumperada from Bacolod City, Philippines. As we continue with our C++ programming series, this tutorial video, we will create a program that will ask the user to give a string and then our program will determine if the given string is a palindrome or not a palindrome. A palindrome means that the string if we read it forward and backward the pronunciation and spelling is the same before we continue if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials so let's get started we are already here in our Div C++ programming environment so the first step that we will do is to write the comment let's say for example double slash a comment in C++ and then we will name this program palindrome.cpp next I will type my name as the author of this program and then the date Today is October mm -hmm. 10, 2019. Today is Thursday. Uh, 9.57 p.m. in the evening. Next, in uh, sharp include ios stream and then we will follow using name space std and then we have here in main open and close parenthesis begin okay so in this program we will use also another library file that belongs to a C language sharp includes for string manipulation actually guys when you are working with a C++ program in a C++ environment you can also write a C program or you can combine both C++ code and C, and C language code in one program so here we will declare a variable car string one let's say for example we have 50 comma string 2 we have also 50 characters next int i equal 0 comma j equal 0 comma flag equal 0 next console out double backslash semicolon new line console out string palindrome in C++ this will be the title of our program string palindrome in C++ we'll copy that one new lines and then console out give a string gets str1 get string this command actually belongs in a C language but it can be applied also in a C++ program with C so length str length this is a function belong to string.h to get the length of the string minus 1 and then we have here our four loops for statement for i equals len comma uh, j equals zero semicolon i greater than or equal to zero semicolon i decrement minus by one j plus plus okay so we're gonna have here enter string to 
we have i equals 3 r 1 equals i followed with a semicolon now here we can have a begin here So, if str string compare str1, comma, str2 begin flag 1, meaning, meaning 1 means true. So, we have here another conditional statement if, if flag equals 1 uh, begin console out str1 is a palindrome semicolon else begin by this time if it is false a one is not is not so palindrome one. and then we have here console out to new line and then we will have double quotation backslash t horizontal tab and oh, program now, the next step that we'll do Okay, let us review ah. This is the palin string palindrome program in C++ This is the variable declaration This is the title of our program This portion will ask uh, the user the, pro will ask the, pro the user to give a string And then this portion will check no? If the string is a palindrome or not And then this will identify which of the if the string is a palindrome or not by displaying the message on the screen and then end of our program next we will save our work save right click new folder and then we will this one name this folder palindrome double click and then we will name this one palindrome.cpp this is the file name and then this is the extension let us click the save button and then we will compile our program to check if there is a syntax error forgot to declare this variable lin in our program okay save compile and run I forgot to write r compile and run save compile and run mm, wrong spelling Compile and run. Okay, so wait. Okay, there's no error and we run the program a good example of a palindrome is the word radar when you read the word radar forward and backwards it is still the same radar radar is a palindrome correct so I'll copy this one for formatting purposes 
okay next compile and run mm -hmm. see my colon okay again ex example ama ama is a palindrome how about a car car is not a palindrome because uy, car is a palindrome no if uh, palindrome is not a palindrome ok let, let's check the code radar hey okay, shit um, not a palindrome there are some error string compare start to ok g ok there's some mistake in the code that I write <laughs> okay so compile and run okay radar okay palindrome when we run the sample and then we give car we are expecting not a palindrome okay here we go we, got, we get already the right result so run let's say the word is Anna so Anna is a palindrome so here we got it uh, guys no? we have already finished our program string palindrome in C++ I hope that you have learned something new in this video tutorial if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials to all the uh, viewers of my video tutorials thank you very much for your support I really appreciate it a lot uh, until the next video tutorial this is Jake Rodriguez Pomperada bye bye for now